Got another YZ125 video here for you today. Um, right now we're getting ready for paint. Uh, a lot of these steps are kind of repeated throughout the YZ250F and this YZ125, but uh, I'm gonna do something a little different on the frame. As you noticed, it's not stripped. I'm not gonna strip this one. If you, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it is a very dull blue. What I've done is I've sanded it down with some 320 and a scotch bright. So that's all I'm gonna do in prepping it for paint. You know, of course I blew it off and, and cleaned it with the tack cloth and all that. I am gonna be using a different paint this time. I'm gonna try some of this uh, VHT roll bar and chassis paint. Um, the other paint was fine, but I figured uh, I, I went to get some paint today, saw this, and uh, it looks like it's made just for this, just about. So we're gonna give this a shot. Um, now you do want to put, uh, that says two light coats and one medium coat on and wait about 10 minutes in between each coat. And you also want to put all the coats on within, within an hour. Um, it does dry in three hours, but it takes seven days to cure according to the instructions. So what we'll do is we'll put a couple of light coats on. Uh, we'll show you the progress, come back, put a couple final coats on. And then actually we're just going to let it set for seven days because I want to see how hard it actually gets. And another uh, little bit of information here is self-priming too as well. So supposedly we really don't need a primer with this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start spraying this down and uh, we'll come back and uh, show you the progress. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are just uh, seconds after the second somewhat light coat. You can see it actually looks pretty darn good actually. So we'll go ahead and let that dry up for about 10 minutes and we'll put maybe one or two more coats on and then we'll be done. We'll let it set for about seven days. Also have to do the rear subframe right there. Um, since it is painted, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, we'll be back in seven days to start reassembling some things. So for now, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back. Okay, I've got my final coat done. It's actually already pretty, pretty dry. I ended up going with four coats. See, it looks, uh, see if I can get this to focus. It's got a pretty nice shine to it. Not too shiny, which I didn't want. I turn that exactly how I wanted it to. So that's done. We will go ahead and uh, paint the rear subframe over there and uh, wait about seven days or so. And yeah, maybe not that long, but I'll wait a few days. In the first order of business, we'll put the, uh, the motor back in and uh, we'll go from there. So that'll do it for this uh, part of the videos. Um, Please subscribe, and always, thanks for watching.